In this project, we will perform COVID-19 airborne risk measuring in a classroom. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. In this project, based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate the respiration of viral air from the mouth of sick coronavirus carrier students in the classroom. The present model is designed in three dimensions using design model software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. A new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also under the view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units which is meter in this project. Also under the scaling section, uh, under the mesh was created in you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeter. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. Now in the newly appeared window under the injection type you should select surface and after doing that you can see a new part will appear in which we select mouth as the boundary we want our injections to be released. Also the particle has the inner type and the material for these particles are selected to be anthracite. Under the point properties tab you can see the properties related to these injected particles. It should be pointed out that make sure the inject using face normal direction option is selected. Now in this window, if you click on the momentum tab, again in front of the velocity magnitude, you can see the velocity of the flow. And just like before, if you click on the DPM tab, you can see the boundary condition type defined for this outer wall is set to be trap, meaning that if particles come into contact with this boundary, they will freeze there. After double clicking on the controls button, in the middle section of the software window, you can see that new part will appear. In the appear part, you can see under relaxation factors for different parameters. Now these values are set here by the software automatically. You can change these values which are between 0 and 1 by yourself for different projects you do. But it is highly recommended that you do not do that since it may result in divergence. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you will see that hybrid initialization method has been chosen, uh, which means that an average is taken from different part of the computational domain, and these averages are set to be the first and initializing values for our simulation. To create such plane, you can simply right click on surfaces and then go over new and then select plane. Now in this slide you can see the velocity distribution in the middle plane inside our computational domain. Now for extracting the particle tracks you have to follow the same previous steps and right click on particle tracks and then click on new. And finally in this slide you can see the particle tracks that were injected inside our computational domain through the mouses of the students. Finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate the respiration of viral air from the mouth of sick coronavirus carrier students in the classroom. This model includes a computational domain in the form of a classroom and chairs inside which a student is modeled on each of the chairs. For each student, a surface is defined as the mouth as the source of the virus's respiration and transmission. This work aims to investigate the effectiveness of the ventilation system installed in the classroom to eliminate polluted air and clean the air. In this project, a ventilation system has been used which has several vents for the entry of fresh air flow from the ceiling of the classroom and several panels for the exit of the old airflow at the bottom of the classroom sidewalls. For the present simulation, the discrete phase model is used because this model allows us to study a mass of particles discreetly in a continuous fluid. The discrete phase corresponding to the virus particles is defined in the steady state solver. After activating the discrete phase model, the injection process must be described.
determining the type and quality of discrete particles injected into the classroom. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.